Moral Mondays are returning soon to the state legislative building. That was the call today from the Reverend William Barber, who says lawmakers must stand up against a bill that takes away power from people many of you voted for. WREL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie was at that news conference and joined us now live from the legislative building. Laura. Deb, you know, those Moral Monday protests this 11 years ago would bring hundreds, even thousands sometimes, of people up here into these halls to protest bills by Republican lawmakers. I covered them then. I remembered them well. They were very frustrating to Republican leaders here, and they resulted in hundreds of arrests. Now the original organizer is saying it's time to bring them back to fight a controversial bill state lawmakers passed last week that would remove power from some newly elected Democrats. In 2013, Republicans held the governor's mansion and both the House and Senate. Progressives couldn't do much except protest, and protest they did, singing, chanting, praying, and holding sit-ins weekly for more than a year. Over time, nearly a 1,000 protesters were arrested for trespassing. Right now, it's time again for the reconstitution and coming together of Moral Monday. Reverend William Barber is accusing lawmakers of doing little to help storm victims in Western North Carolina, focusing instead on stripping power from Democrats and taking control over the election process. This amounts to a political coup yes. against duly elected government officials. Yes. It is an attempt by a supermajority to use that majority to thwart the will of the voters. Republican lawmakers said the changes they're seeking will improve government efficiency. They say they're also doing a lot for Helene victims and will do more next year. Governor Roy Cooper is expected to veto the bill by the end of the week. State lawmakers will come back over the next two weeks to try to override that veto. Barber called on the three Republicans who voted against the bill last week to stand their ground. If there's ever a time that you need to put down the title of Republican and Democrat and pick up the title of human beings and moral leaders, it's right now. Meantime, Barber called on supporters to fill the public areas of the building the next two Mondays when those override votes are expected to happen. Every North Carolinian that believes in justice and believes in democracy, it's time to show up, up. nonviolently and show out. Now, I asked Republican leaders here for a comment on Barber's announcement today. They have not yet responded. Uh, the Senate is due back on Monday after Thanksgiving to take the first of those two override votes. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, live in Raleigh.